Hello there, this is Leo Waldock for Kit Guru, Computex in Taipei. I'm with Henry from Gigabyte. Hello, Henry. Hello. Um, first question, with the move towards system on chip, everything going into one chip, particularly thinking about BRICS and BRICS S, how do you differentiate your products from, say, MSI QB or anything by ECS? Okay. It's a good question because the most of the time people consider the everything is going to integrate into the chip. But actually, in the real uh, PC world, it's not real. Because the, everything integrated to the chip, the, it's just that the, the performance, you need to let the performance the, start going down. So once the people you need the performance system, you cannot let everything go into the chip. So for Gigabyte, we will try to the, diversify our product line. What Gigabyte can offer compared with other guys, the different differential is Gigabyte's the quality, durability. Okay. That is very important. I think the, the current performance is good enough. Everything needs to connect it together. And also the 4K monitor, even the 8K coming. So it means that we need the more computing performance to deal with those the application. But just to make sure I haven't got completely the wrong idea here, yeah. with small form factor, Broadwell, Skylake, right. whatever, we are talking big displays. We're not talking gaming on 4K. No, no, no. We are no. talking output to large display. Yeah, right. But even the, the big display, because the, the content is the, uh, the resolution is more high than before. Yeah. So even the small one, they also need, need to be capable to maintain, manage those uh, heavy loading. Okay. So that's why I think it's very important. Now, w walking yeah. around the UK, yes. we, we've obviously got generations of phones. We're about half right. a generation behind you. Yeah. Um, so I'm looking at iPhone 5S, now iPhone 6. Right. I personally look at a large XL iPhone 6 or right. a large Nexus 6. Mm -hmm. To my mind, it's too big. Right. I arrive in Taipei, everybody is holding a tablet this size. Sure. In the UK, I'm looking at those thinking they must be impacting the PC laptop yeah. market. Over here, they must be eating the laptop market. So where do these huge phones sit alongside gigabyte devices uh, and, and your market? Yeah, actually, it's not really. I, I do appreciate that the Apple iPhone, they come to the market and that people understand the small device they charge is so expensive. Mm. So now actually I can find in the PC market, if people really want to buy a PC, they, they are willing to pay for the performance. Okay. So that is why if you take a look at the, the worldwide the Intel CPU data, you can see Intel i5, i7 CPU, the high one, the sale of volume is yearly, quarterly growing. Right. Yeah, so that is why the from my point of view, actually many, many, many people, especially the first by people and young generation, when they have the, the tablet or they have the smartphone, bigger screen, mm. they, they will consider that is the, a PC. Right. Okay. So, but for, from my point of view, when they need a more uh, powerful application, for example, if you need one to the photo and movie mm. editing, you cannot no. Based on the, the smartphone or tablet. So smartphone for consuming, PC for producing right. and, and gaming. Okay. We've got 4K, we've got DirectX 12, we've got Windows 10. The bottleneck now between the, in the inside the PC will be, become the hard drive. Right. Because hard, mechanical hard drive, the speed is not sure. quick enough. But now the lucky is, the past year, the SSD is coming. Mm -hmm. But the SATA SSD interface is still not good enough. Right. That is why we have uh, some cooperation with the Intel NVMe right. SSD drive. Sure. That, that is based on the PCIe sure. bus sure. and mini SATA bus. So means the they will be four times faster than the SATA SSD. So that's the bottleneck in storage. That's responsiveness. Uh, the other aspect of that would be DDR4. Right. But there we're surely talking small percentage. No matter what. One small step or big step yeah. is, can always good for the application. Okay. 
And then DirectX 12, is this something we're waiting for, this idea that maybe we can mix sure. graphics up? Sure. Because the, if, you, if you consider two, three years ago, people were talking about uh, good enough. Mm. But now, suddenly people are talking about still not good enough. <laughs> because there's more and more application, more and more the high resolution, the video, camera, and the, the monitor. And then we have too many things need to, to deal with. Yeah. AMD APU. In, yes. in the pr desktop processor market, AMD really has no presence. In the server market, it has no yeah. presence. In the mobile market, right. it's suffering. It owns the console market, mm -hmm. uh, albeit with APU technology. Sure. I'm looking at APUs of the 65 watt or 95 watt TDP, and mm -hmm. that says to me a case that's this size, sure. not, not this size. It, no. I, I don't see APU in bricks. Is that the thing that's keeping AMD from small form factor is heat, or is there something I'm missing? <laughs> uh, I think the, for the engineer design point of view and all the, the end user, the user, uh, user experience point of view, mm. uh, I, I think APU is really good for the, the game console. Mm. But for the, the PC portion, maybe there's another story. Yeah. And what is the other story? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think that when the people really need the, the graphic performance, mm. the add-on card would be the more uh, important. Yeah. Okay, right. So am I interpreting that, that APU falls between graphics card at the high right. end and, and Intel In, power right. saving at the it's low end? It's not good enough. It's yeah. just, it's not good In enough. In between, yeah. And In between, it's, it's very difficult to find the, the, okay. the right like customer, yeah. Especially okay. now the market, people looking for the streaming performance. Right, now I have a, a question that was sent to me by Anton, our chip guy. Um, he sends questions that are as deep as this technically. Yeah. His question was, if AMD and Global Foundry sorts out 22 nanometer SOI, so we are talking deep question, okay. for 2017, mm. his view is the process will be brilliant, but AMD doesn't have the money to invest in every part of the market. Yeah. So Anton's question is, which is the important market for AMD to attempt to tackle if they have a good process? <laughs> That's a lot of ifs. Uh, I think the, it's very difficult to come in as the big guy, okay? Mm. But anyway, from my point of view, yes. uh, they need to look in for the value-added customer. The right. who people, they need to find some the certain customer, certain skill, who to appreciate their technology. Right. Start from that point, yeah don't want to try to win everything at the beginning. That's the two challenge for them. Yeah. Now, the thing with wearables is, my automatic thought yeah. is that a wearable, you generally have to have it linked to your phone. So it's, it's an additional device, it doesn't stand on its own. And then the thought behind that is data. All that data, all all the data stuff, has, it's all going somewhere. Somewhere, including the workstation, server, desktop PC, home server, everything. And as, as they say, the thing is, if you can't see the product, you are the product. Yeah. You know, Facebook, you are the product, right. your data. So if I strap on a watch, right. have I just become a walking, talking billboard for somebody else's services? <laughs> Should be. <laughs> <laughs> so this is why I think, uh, uh, I think maybe people are also were aware in the future, you will be monitored everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a cheery note to end on. <laughs> this is not, good, not a good thought. And another direction is that people need, do need the computing capability, streaming computing cap capability. The purpose is, should be the very... People don't want to waste the time to idle there, to waiting. So means the, the Huawei guy, they need to continue to have the new technology to fix it. Okay, yeah. understood. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Henry. You're welcome. So this is uh, Leo Wardock for Kit Guru and Henry from Gigabyte. Yeah. Thank you.